So in this video, actually, I'm going to show you the index.php. Index.php is the home page for our project. So we will show all the books here, right? So let's start with design part. I will uh, say here HTML. And here in the body section, actually, I'll say that, okay, I want to give here a div. Uh, okay, so for the home page, let's say I want to add a header and footer also. So I'll say here header. And I want to set footer, so I'll set footer. In the footer actually, I want to add a copyright information, so I will say here yeah, copyright at web tech knowledge. In the header, let's say just for now, actually, I want to add a title library of this. I want to uh, show all the books as a card, let's say, so I will say here div and I want to add uh, at first image, let me just give you a hash. After the image, actually, I want to add a uh, titles, then author name, so H3, okay, here actually I want to set author name, author name. and here book title. So this for the price, uh, sorry, what direct, okay. and it's a ISBN. Okay. So now if I go to the index.php, let me check. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just do some CSS for it. So I will uh, style it here. I will go for here style egg. And here actually I want to set a library. Inside this style, actually, I want to say, okay, I want to do uh, for the header, I will say that uh, I want to, you know, add padding of let's say 30 pixel. And basically, I want to give you a star sign uh, for the whole page. And I want to say that, okay, I want margin and padding for the whole page is zero. And header is uh, like this, and I want to set background color gray. And for the div, let's say here, can add here section, let's say. And let me just cut it from here. I'll test it here. Okay, and I want to actually set a class of the section. I would say here. Uh, Next section. Uh, I'm going to copy it. Let me just remove it. Say here dot paste it. And actually, I want to show them show the display uh, as specs. I will say it has that. Then I can say here uh, we don't want any overflow. So I will say here overflow. In x axis, we don't uh, want any overflow, so I will say here hidden. Everything is done here, and actually, I want to justify every content in the center, so I will say justify content center. Okay, and now uh, everything is done, and let's say I want to say here uh, exception email. I want to set width for the image, width, let's say 200 pixel, or actually, I can set the div, right. And div and uh, if I go here, I will say dot uh, index section image. I'll say width will be hundred percent. Div text line will be center. Everything is all right here. Okay. Now let's go to the browser and I'll go here. Okay. Here actually, I will go to the root port, uh, root five. So. This is the actually case. So we have book title here, uh, author, ISBN, and quantity. And this is the image actually, right? Okay, so we have uh, here footer, right? So let me uh, fix the footer. So I will uh, go here and I will uh, say that, okay, where is my header? Okay, uh, here I want to say that, okay, footer. I uh, actually want to set footer fixed. Sorry, uh, position, right? Position fixed. And I want to say bottom zero. 
refresh okay so now actually the footer is in the bottom so actually i want to set uh background color for it so i will say background color okay and actually i want to add padding of let's say 10 pixel refresh okay and actually i want to set width i want to set width uh, i mean not impressive and text align should be center so at the footer actually i want to set the text align should be center refresh okay you have nice footer and let's say i want to uh, you know make the header sticky so i will say here position of header fixed and i want to set top to zero refresh and actually i want to with uh, set width of 100% Okay, done. And the problem is uh, now it's uh, giving me the error. So we'll go here uh, in this section. And here, actually, I want to say that okay, I need margin top. I'll say, uh, let's say I want to set 100 pixel past. Fresh. Okay, that's looking good. We have everything here. Perfect. And now actually I want to fetch all the data. Okay, so I'm I have to go to the top of the page, and here I just have to write HP script first, and I have to connect the data. Uh, I mean I have to connect to the database, right? So I have to include it. Include. I don't need session here, right? Because uh, this is the index page, so I don't need any session here. DB dot HP, and actually I want to fetch all the data, so. I'll go to the uh, view books because I have fetch here, so I will actually copy everything from here. Yeah, select from books result. If result else, actually it will uh oops. Yep. So let's just copy it and I'll go to the. We're going to paste it here. So we have select star. Okay. So there is gap. Let me just remove all the gaps from here or else do other thing. And now actually I'm going to uh, copy from the view book uh, while loop here. Um, here, okay. Okay, so let's copy it. I'm just going to go to the email section, right? And here inside the section, we just have to uh, you know, run the loop. So this is while loop. And let me just remove this space. So we have the while loop here, and uh, we have we start the while loop. So we'll actually paste all of them here. Okay. So first we need image. So I will copy the image section. So let me just copy the image from here. I want to paste it like this. So we have done, right? Yes. So image. Because we are in the index, so we don't need to give here two dot because we are in the root folder also. That's it. I have to say it like this. Everything is all right here and the book title. So let's go for the book title. So book title. Where is book title? So this is the book title. So now I just have to write it like this. Copy every single time. Okay. So here I just need to say title. Yes. The next thing is author name. So just have to copy it. Let me just paste it here. ISPN. So let me just copy it. If I want to paste it here. Then what next? Emails will drop the emails, right? So quantity. Let me copy it and paste it in, uh, inside. Okay, so now we have done, and uh, we just have to close the loop, right? Okay, so let me just copy from here. So we have to get outside the deep. Yes. Okay, so done, and now let's check if it is working perfectly. So go here and uh, let me just. Fresh here, so yeah, it's working perfectly. Here you can see this is the book, 
we got and this is the uh, book title and uh, the author so uh, actually i can uh, say here uh, let me just go here and i can say here that okay um this is the title right so i can say here the title then here author each author book title and what isbn isbn and quantity fresh okay so book title have okay uh actually I, I don't want to use here h2 i can give your say p uh every single time so p okay so here also paragraph so uh, actually i want to say here paragraph everything's all right and refresh okay. and it's working perfectly so book title atomic habits author james clear isbn and quantity so we have uh, complete our live uh, i mean uh, you know index file right so in our next video we will talk about borrow book okay borrow.php uh, let's say someone actually uh, want to borrow the book so uh, we'll show you how actually anyone can borrow book okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video till then goodbye